This video is sponsored by Pixel Film Studios. In this video, what we're talking about is how you add graphics or video to any elements within your environment, whether that's a wall or you're doing like a screen replacement. This is a plugin that you can use to basically make this process super easy. Let's get into it. So what we're talking about in this video is a four corner point tracking plugin. Now what this allows you to do is be able to put objects in your footage and be able to track it to the environment. So essentially what this plugin does is it tracks four corners. And so if the camera shifts, if the camera moves, it's tracking that perspective. So your footage is gonna look like it's in the environment. Now this is really cool because it's not very easy to do this kind of tracking in Final Cut. If you wanted to add something into the frame, you basically have to go point by point and adjust the perspective yourself. So essentially this plugin is doing all of that work for you and then whatever you're adding into your footage is perfectly tracked within the environment. Guys, if you're new to this channel, my name is Jevin Dovey. I do a lot of filmmaking tutorials, some product reviews and also some YouTube training. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on those bell notifications so you don't miss one of these videos. All right, so let's jump into Final Cut and let me show you how you actually make this work and how easy it is to use this plugin to track objects within your frame. So to make this work well and look seamless, there's a few things you really need to have in your footage. First is you need to have a clear and visible surface throughout the shot. And second is you have to have four clear trackable points in the corners. Now there's two tracking types and you're gonna use the four corner point if you have reflections or moving objects within the desired area that you are tracking. So let me just show you this easy trackable shot that I have of a woman working out with a green screened iPad in the background. So the first thing you wanna do is drag your auto perspective tracker on top of the footage. It's gonna add a layer above the shot that you're working on. And you wanna make the plugin layer the exact same length as the shot that you're trying to track. Now put your playhead at the very beginning of the shot and you're gonna highlight the adjustment layer, go over to your info tab and we're going to click track editor. So once you're in here, you're gonna see a few different tools. At the bottom here below your footage are the controls to be able to zoom in and move the image around so you can see what you're going to track. On the screen, you're gonna have your box and your four points that you're tracking each of the corners. And then on the right hand side, you're gonna have a few controls. So the default tracking type is planar and this one's gonna be used most of the time unless you have something moving within the box that you're tracking. And then underneath that, you have track quality. So if you pull it all the way up to 100%, you're gonna do the most detailed tracking. However, it's gonna take more time to process. So depending on how clear the four corners are of your shot, you will adjust this setting and find what works best. Because the shot is super clear, I'm just gonna leave it at 50%. Now what I'm gonna do is take my selection area and drag the four corners to the exact four corners that I want of the trackable object in the frame. And you can see here on the right side, there's a magnification so you can get it perfectly in the corner. Now the last step you need to do is just hit the play button and watch it track. So it's gonna take a few minutes to render this out depending on how long your shot is. Now once it's done, you can go back frame by frame and make sure that each of the trackable points are exactly where you want them to be. If there's any issues within the shot, you can go to that frame and then position it where it needs to go so that it's a perfect track. Now we're going to export this data and when we go back to our timeline, you're gonna make sure that your cursor is at the first frame of the shot. Now again, you wanna select the plugin adjustment layer and you're gonna see a few controls in your inspector. At the top is your track editor, which is what we just did. If you just wanna start fresh, you can clear all data here, but underneath that is your drop zone controls. So first you need to turn this on and it's gonna put just a basic gray drop zone over the space. You can play back your footage and see how it looks with just the gray, making sure that the four corners are mapped out perfectly. Now what you wanna do is make sure your cursor's at the first frame and you're gonna select your drop zone. Now you're gonna select the clip that you want put in that drop zone. And you have a few controls once you select this. You, you can move it on the X and Y axis and you can also scale it so you can make it bigger or smaller. Now underneath that, you have two modes. You have your blend mode and you have your opacity. So depending on what kind of effect you want it to have with the footage in the background, you can use these effects to make it look more natural. So because this is just a clean screenshot, I'm not trying to have any of the background show through. So I'm just gonna leave the blend mode at normal and I'm gonna leave the opacity at 100%. And then at the very bottom of your inspector is your motion blur. So if you have some motion blur in your frame, you can match that by using this slider and pulling it to the right. And just like that, you now have your four corners tracked, you embedded your object, and you either have footage or your graphic 
placed in your environment. So now let's go through a graphic element. It is gonna be the exact same process, except for you might add some texture by using your blend modes. So this is a shot from the Azores, and I just wanna put a graphic on this wall. So what I'm gonna do is the same exact process. So I'm gonna find four points around the area that I want to track. And then now with the drop zone, I'm gonna add in my graphic. So from here, I'm gonna do a blend mode. So I'm gonna use the overlay and see how that blends on the wall. And from here, I'm gonna drop down the opacity and not make it so prominent. And because I did these two adjustments, it looks like the graphic was in the scene when I shot it. So this tool is super powerful if you're looking to track objects within your frame. It's great if you wanna add graphics or if you wanna add footage. For me personally, I do a lot of shoots where I have screens that I need to replace. My production company is a fitness video production company and a lot of the commercials that we do are people working out at home with a screen. So I'm always doing these kind of screen replacements and this makes it super easy for me to track that and just add that footage in. Now there's lots of other applications for this. You could put graphics in, text, anything in your environment to basically enhance the experience for your viewers. Guys, if you wanna see more information about the Perspective Tracker, I put a link down below in the description and there's also a discount code down there for you. So I highly suggest going and checking it out. If you're a Final Cut user, it's an awesome plugin to add something a little bit different into your footage. Also, I did another video on Auto Tracker, which is a single point tracker. This allows you to track and add anything within your frame, but it's used when you don't need to have that perspective shift. So guys, I'll put that video right here so you can check that out. And that's it. I'll see you on the next one.